This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com. A great light shines. No matter how brilliant a light is, blind people will never be aware of his presence. Also, when there is total darkness, the people with sight are no better off than those without. But with the coming of light, the individuals that can see are instantly different than the sightless. So light becomes a separator, whereas darkness is the unifier. How often has Christianism proclaimed that Jesus came to bring peace, harmony, and unity to all mankind? This concept of Jesus is true for all Christianity since they distort him into a grotesque, satanic creature made to fit into their social gospel. Their hellish creation has absolutely nothing in common with the Christ of the Bible. All who are ensnared by such idolatry are ignorant of the scriptures and blindly accept the corrupted cleric's teachings without taking the time to read the Bible for themselves. Jesus said that these ecumenical pontificators are blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Matthew 15, 14. All of Christianity is certainly in the black abyss. If this is offensive to you, then what will you do with the words of Christ when he said, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Matthew 10, 34. Just in case this isn't plain enough, then maybe Luke 12, 51 will be. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. This does not fit your concept of Jesus, then your Jesus is not the Christ of the Bible, so just throw the book away and continue to embrace all the evils of Christianism with complete abandonment of Yahweh God's truth. However, you can be comforted in this one fact that you will not be alone, for broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Matthew 7, 13. Just because you join something that professes to be Christian is not enough. For Jesus issues this warning in Matthew 7, 22 through 23. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now for all the Elohim family of Yahweh, the Adamic White Western people, the Israel of the Bible. You are the ones the scriptures call the Semites, Hebrews, and God's chosen people, whom your father foreknew in the heavens, wrote your name in the book of life before the foundation of the world, and were predestinated to be the brothers of Christ. I bring you good tidings of great joy. In these hellish, evil, dark days, a light has come as prophesied in Isaiah 9 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. What is that light? For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, 
the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. This prophecy from Isaiah is quoted in Matthew 4.16 and verse 17 says that this is fulfilled in Jesus Yahweh Shua. The people which sat in darkness saw great light and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death light is sprung up. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Even Jesus himself declares, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John 8, 12. Yes, he is the light of the world. But he is more than simply a light to his people, his lost sheep of the house of Israel. To them he is the light of life. It is this people, his Elohim family, that sat in darkness, that walked in darkness, that sat in the region and shadow of death, that dwelt in the land of the shadow of they are the ones that have seen a great light and upon whom hath the light shined. It is in Isaiah 7, 14, where the prophet had previously spoken of the coming of the light. Therefore, the Lord Yahweh himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. This prophecy is fulfilled in Jesus, for in Matthew 1.23, Joseph was told that they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Let us rejoice and give thanks to our Father, because we, his racial family. We're not left alone to flounder around in the black pit of earth. For Yahweh put on a flesh and blood body and came into earth as Yahweh Shua, Jesus the Christ, to bring to us the light of life. Hear this, all Elohim dwelling in the earth. Life has come for a great light shine. This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com.